final testimony to the internet, the social media world, the cloud server, whatever. I just don't care anymore. Um, I'll start from the beginning. And my beginning starts with standing in front of my double wide trailer where all of my traumatic history was going to start that I didn't even know was going to start. And, uh, standing out there and it was just a morning, really early morning. It was like probably like seven in the morning. I was just standing out there in the front yard, just looking at the grass and like everything about the world looks beautiful. It's like when you're in that childlike state and you're innocent, nothing is messed with you. So it starts there. And that's the first day that I can recall that I felt peaceful and it felt like calm before the storm. Which the storm came very strong and out of nowhere. But after that day is when everything went downhill. My parents were okay for a little bit and then a little while after I started to really just gain consciousness is when shit hit the fan and they got through a divorce and put us through hell during it and I was abused by my brother and it wasn't like you know, weird abusive it was just like you know like your brother hit you or something all the time because they're going through traumatic shit and they don't even realize what they're doing or how much is hurting you and it's just like it's not their fault at the end of the day because they were he was a kid just like me going through that divorce so was the rest of my family um so during all that i was alone i've never had anyone by my side at all times besides god They, everyone, abandoned me emotionally. Nobody was there for me. And so, in my loneliness, I asked for Lucifer to come into my heart. But, even then I was still alone, because he was dealing with his own shit. So, not even that did anything. I mean, I've had very bad thoughts. Go. Even then, I've had very bad thoughts, but nothing that I acted on most of the time. And I feel like I've lived a pretty... I feel like I've lived a pretty decently sinful one. I know Christians would say sin is sin, but not all sin is that bad. It really isn't. Like cussing as a kid, going through a divorce and a family, that actually probably helped me when I needed it, if anything. So don't tell me that sin is sin because not all sin is sin. A kid cussing and committing a sin of saying bad words is not the same as killing someone. And it's not the same as raping someone. It's like sin is not sin. So, I feel like I lived a pretty unsinful life. Uh, I knew what right and wrong was from a very early age because I seen a divorce, so I knew that was bad, and that was pretty damn bad. And within all that came starvation, hunger, and, you know, irritable, agitation, anxiety, depression, all of that. I've had all of that since I was born, pretty much. Um, and none of it ever seemed to go away. My mom just recently finally got saved because I had to help her through Jesus. But 
I'm not saying, I'm not trying to boast about it. I'm just, it's just my testimony. But, no, she was on drugs for a really long time. My dad is Hispanic, and I'm not trying to be stereotypical, but he doesn't understand. He's, he's in a different mindset because he came from Honduras. So it's like he was treated by his parents and he took that possibly as that's how he needs to treat his children. And that's, and that's not his fault either. And it's just, it's all generational and it all goes back and back and back. And it's like, it's not anyone's fault because they get treated a certain way. And it's just like, you're not born bad. You just get thrown into shit that you didn't ask for that's why I'm okay with abortion cause it's like bro don't bring that child into this world if you're gonna put him through the same shit that I did like no that's wrong kill that fucking child kill it murder that child so that it does not have to deal with all of this shit at all just fucking kill them all it's not fair it's not right and I'm not saying to go kill the kids, but just like, and don't kill kids. But it's just like, I personally don't think that kids should be going through this. So, <clears throat> within all that, I became very strong because it was like, in my loneliness, I have no one. So, I have to be strong because I have no one and I can't just kill myself even though I've tried. I, sh I know I can't just kill myself, and now I don't even want to kill myself because I don't even want to see heaven or hell or any of them. I don't even want to talk to them. I don't care about my judgment. I don't want judgment. I just want to be left alone. I hate it all. I hate them all except Jesus. I like Jesus as human because God created a human in this world. And even that human had his own thoughts. Jesus had his own thoughts and opinions and emotions. And that's why he deserves to be king of this world. Because his human earned it. And I didn't earn it like he did, but also he was partially God. And I bet that was annoying. Really annoying. What are you going to say back to God? You know what I mean? Like, you can't just say no. Especially when you're Jesus, the only son. A lot of you people who are going to be reading this, you aren't spiritually awakened. And if you are, you might get it. And you're probably not going to see it the same way because you see glory in God. For you Satanists, fuck you. You don't know what being a Satanist means. And if you do, fuck you for not telling the world. Assholes. That's all you are. Scum. <clears throat> I found Maddie and out of everyone who's shown me love and got me to a good place you guys closed me really well but you, you didn't change me and I was wanting to be changed because I feel like my <laughs> being as a whole brings change to everyone because I don't know. I know how to love. And I don't know how to make people feel good. Not even that I'm trying to manipulate people. I just like making people feel good. But I don't like making people feel good anymore. Because nobody makes me feel good. Except Maddie. But even then. She can't reach me all the time. Because there's always something. And I believe it's just because I'm dealing with the spiritual realm. For so long. So I'm dealing, talking to regular people and also spirits. So I'm just going to call all the spirits out. Every last one of them, except the animals, because the animals are the 
I feel like that animals are just the most wonderful creation. They deserve this earth, not, not us. They don't. They kill with no regards to emotions. They just kill because they need food and they don't eat too much. They do as they do, and that's that. It's natural selection and that is life at its finest. But I don't even think the gods understand their own emotions. They don't even understand their powers. They don't understand what they can do. They f it's a warfare, you know what I mean? It says spiritual warfare. If there's warfare, there's obviously tensions between emotions and people don't know what the fuck they're doing. God thinks you have to cast Lucifer out. Like, no, handle your fucking problems. Stop getting people caught in the middle of it. You want us to live a regular life, Lucifer? Stop being a fucking bitch. Stop being so fucking hateful. And God, stop being so fucking weak. Punk ass. Sending Lucifer out because <laughs> he convinced the third of the angels. Why couldn't you convince them back? Retard. Sorry for the people who are retarded. I don't mean that with any disrespect. And I apologize if you do take disrespect in this. I just, I've used it for a long time because I've never met my intentions to mean it harshly. But I understand people may take that harshly because they've been told that. You know, so I understand, and I'm sorry. Just I get caught up in my emotions and sometimes in my words, but it is how I feel, and I just don't want that to be disregarded because I said one word. But yeah, so I met Maddie in high school, high school sweetheart. We've been together for about about seven years, pretty much, almost six, seven years, 10, 18, 17. She is a blessing. Because she doesn't make me feel alone. At the end of the day, when I go to bed at night, she's next to me. And that's the type of love that I've wanted. But I understand there are different types of love because I wanted friendship love. And I intertwine real love and friendship love and family love. Because I have a big heart and I know that I can find my love within all of that and share it with everyone because... I know how to flow in vibes because it's partially spiritual and I know how to flow with it. But I'm tired of giving everyone everything of me. I want it all back. <laughs> I give to so many people my energy, my time, my feelings, my emotions, my thoughts. I just give and I can't. I can't keep giving. And, and I'm sorry to everyone who cares about me, but I can't keep giving anyone anything but Maddie. I have no energy. I, can't, I, don't, I don't even want any friends half the time because it just turns into talking about people's problems. And it's just like, I want to talk about stuff that's fun. Like I get talking about people's problems is important because everybody's been through shit. But I just want to, I just want to find someone besides Maddie who just like has gotten over all of their bullshit, has conquered their mind and body and soul, and just knows how to be a cool friend. Like some, like some fucking, I don't know, Leonardo DiCaprio that's cool and is okay and isn't fearful of meeting random people and just talking to them and it's just there's no one there's no one who gets it there's no one who gets me at all times 
at all times. That's why I feel alone, because I feel misunderstood at things that I say, because some someone or something will get brought up or something will get held on to, and I'm just like, dude, I'm just talking. <laughs> you know, like, I'm just trying to talk and just vibe, you know, like, I might say it, but, like, I don't know. I just wish someone, like, got when I wanted to talk about something and when I didn't, you know. Because I feel like I can get that. It smells like shit in here. It's a fucking stink bug somewhere. Bitch-ass stink bug. But I don't know. I'm just being a fucking baby and I sound like I'm complaining. But at the end of the day, it's fair because I didn't ask to be here. And people would be like, man up. Well, I manned up. My back fucking hurts. I worked at MDI. I worked at Pallet Jack. And I hurt my fucking back. Like, destroyed my back. I hardly sleep. And I can hardly get comfortable ever. I have to, I get, it's nerve, I have nerve damage in my back. I went to a chiropractor. I went to the doctor. I have a nerve problem in my back. And I feel fucking disabled. Like, I feel like shit. So when people say, do this, do that, I've done it. I've lived with it. So shut the fuck up. I have done it all. The only thing that I haven't gotten is actual nonstop therapy. And when I tried to get therapy, they took two weeks and to even talk to me about getting therapy. And even they didn't even have a date for me. So it's like, dude, I'm like, I got hurt and I'm in pain and I need help. And you guys are taking your sweet time with me having no money, no job. I got kicked out at 18. Like, yes, I know people have been through worse, but it's like I have no, no one financially supports me. No one monetarily helps me every week or anything or like no one asks me if I need money for anything or even considers to give me money unless I'm around and they just I make them feel bad or something like people think that I'm strong, but I'm just fucked up in trying to be strong with no help. Like I have no family besides my mom and Maddie who text me and I have Josh and my brothers, but it's just like, we're all separated. Everyone's separated in life. And I get that, but that's what we made life. And I don't like that. And that's not fair, but yeah, I, I just, I, I'm tired, man. I'm tired of manning up. I'm tired of being seen as gay or whatever. People think that I'm gay or something for being feminine. I don't give a fuck. I'll carry a purse. I don't give a fuck. I don't. It's convenient. Like, <laughs> I don't care about masculinity or feminine. I don't care. I don't care about anything but Maddie and the people around me. And I deal with this spiritual realm shit. And I don't care if you guys believe me or think it's weird. You guys are fucking weird. Say something weird. Like, be fucking weird for once. Caught up, like up each other's ass like talking shit about each other behind each other's back all the time saying how you your opinion about what the way someone dressed or the way someone said something or just like bro shut the fuck up i don't give a fuck i don't give a fuck about i don't know carmen you know spilling coffee on her shirt yesterday like shut the fuck up i don't care about your music taste i don't know you like if you're not in my close circle or if you don't make me feel like we like that, then I don't know you. So don't tell me about that shit if I didn't ask you or if I don't want to talk about it. Like, no one gets me and that's fine. But I just wish there was someone, like, down my journey. You know what I mean? I don't even know Jesus. Like, I don't know who Jesus is. Like, it talks about what he did. And people were like, oh, Jesus is amazing. It talks about what he did, but it didn't talk about what he thought all the time. Probably didn't want to do that shit probably didn't want to heal everybody he was probably in pain too who knows if he could heal himself you know what i mean like people don't think about people's emotions when it comes to their actions yeah people do great things a lot of people do great things and a lot of people feel great things and say great things and do a lot of great things throughout their entire life but they might not feel like the greatest thing who's done great things we're all missing something and what I'm missing is fucking something, <laughs> you know? I don't know what I'm missing. I'm missing that life could have been different and that it isn't. 
because all of you and your family bullshit and all of your, you know, societal and generational and spiritual problems that the gods have thrown on us and you guys have handled it. You guys have not. <laughs> there is no man worthy of being a king on this world. No man. No man or woman. If anything, I am the closest thing to it and I don't even deserve it because I don't even want it. And if you felt like me, you wouldn't want it either. <laughs> fuck, fuck the gods, fuck the devil, fuck anyone, fuck everyone except Maddie. I don't care anymore. I love my family. I love Maddie. I love the few friends that I consider my friends anymore. Family. And the people that I, I've always showed love to, particularly that I myself have shown love to that I that I know that I love very well and that I just tell some people that I love them I do love them but there's an extent to love you know what I mean you just there's deeper feelings to love so it's like you love someone but you don't deeply deeply love them but there are certain people that I deeply love that I may not say but I love you and I see your hard work and I see for example one of the one of someone who reminded me of just like me was like Ian, just in a different setting. Ian Mathis, I love you. You're like a little brother. You're very strong. And I hope you're stronger than me. For real. Thank you for just always being neutral at all times you reminded me of myself and i appreciate that i got to meet someone like myself but you're younger than me and you got a life so don't get caught up in my bullshit <laughs> uh maddie i love you jesus i'd like to meet you lucifer you're a bitch god you're annoying And all you other spirits, angels, fuck you all for not calling everyone out, seeing everything on the outside. Fuck you all, Michael, Angel Michael, Archangel Michael, I'm talking to you, fuck you. Belial, Baphomet, fuck you all, bitches. You ain't even worthy of being worshipped. worthless Michael useful but stupid all of you are annoying and if I am your newborn newbie child or whatever spiritual child I don't fucking want it anymore fuck you all you guys don't make me feel like family you guys definitely don't bless me You guys have given me some sort of power or whatever. I don't know what you've given me. I don't know how to use it. You don't tell me how to use it. So I'm not going to use it. What do you think this is? Do you think I'm just going to go out and be like, walk with me? No, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So I don't think that I'm going to use whatever ability or whatever life, bread of life that Jesus has if I don't even know how to fucking use it. So I don't know. And I'm not going to believe any man who knows how to use it because I don't. I don't, they'd have to prove it to me. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to have faith in someone that I don't know. I don't know what he's, I don't know what he's thinking. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not taking no blessing from nobody. No, I'm not taking any prayers no more. Unless I ask for them, I've taken no prayers. Don't hit me up. Don't text me asking me, hey, do you want to talk to me about it? Uh, I've expressed how I felt out loud. And if anybody was truly interested or if anybody truly really wanted to know and make me feel like they wanted to know or make me feel like they were interested, they would have done so. So I told you, I told everyone, and I'll, t I'll say it this last time, I do feel like I am a false prophet because how I feel and what I think is going to be considered as false prophecy. I, know, I have no confirmation that I am the false prophet, but what I believe and what I feel and what has happened in my life and the things that has I've experienced in the church around me, making people fall when I prayed with them. And all I said was Jesus set them free. And then this lady following me out the door, all like giving me a weird feel like. Fuck. 
fucking stink bug. My life is crazy. My back hurts. I have hardly any love to give. And I'm done. So Jesus, if you're going to come back, you better do it soon. Because I, I probably won't want to be a part of it if you take any longer. God, you can just fuck off if you don't hurry up and send Jesus. Lucifer, you can just burn in hell. You can just burn for eternity. I don't care. You're a bitch. And you're weak. You're not even worthy of being a king. So in regards to the human race, trust Jesus. Because despite everything that uh, I say he might feel and might do in his own head, in his own time, and how he felt and maybe what he felt, he did it. And he, he was probably the only one who really, really did it. And he didn't even do it for himself. It's the sad part. Nobody really thinks about that. He did it because God desired it. God didn't give him a choice. And if he did, maybe he did, who knows. But his human body didn't get a choice. It was formed, it was born, and it did. So, he's a king. I'm not talking to the God that's in heaven. I'm talking about the Jesus human body. His brain, his, his body, not his soul, but his body, his person. His own thoughts that he probably was neglected from. Because the God spirit was in him. He deserves it. That person who got crucified and stabbed and hurt, tormented, beat, whatever... That guy, Jesus, that guy deserved it. So everyone, Jesus is king. And I mean that. Jesus is king. Nobody else. Not even me. I could be a good king, but none of you like me. None of you really like me at all. Except Maddie and my family. None of you know me, so I don't even think that you like me because you don't know me, nor do I, except that you say that you love me because you don't. You don't You don't fit my criteria of love. Even though the thought counts, you don't get how far, how deep I feel with love and how much I know what love is and what it feels like to know that you don't really love me. None of you do. Not even Jesus, because he doesn't even know me. He just loves me because I am also a part of this human race who has to deal with this shit. And now I get it. And so it's like, he doesn't know me, but he loves me. And I'll take that. Not from God, but from Jesus. Jesus' person, his own thoughts, words. If he says he loves me, then that's, I'll accept it. Because it's Jesus. B, go. Jesus, please come back. Heal my body. Send someone. Someone strong enough. Billy Graham, send someone strong enough to heal whatever is in me. I'm tired. So, my final message as a false prophet that never got accepted virally by anyone. <laughs> uh, you're going to think that I'm crazy. And I accept that. I accept you thinking that I'm crazy. So, I'm going to... I'm going to... Go get medicine depression, anxiety, whatever I need. I'm gonna get a job. Full-time job, I guess. Fix my back. And I'm never, never 
talking to anyone else besides the people I trust about this and that I want to talk to. Um, I'm never talking to God, never talking to Jesus, I'm never talking to any spirits. The only thing that I'm going to interact with is my family, Maddie, and my animals and my pets. And I know I say animals weird, just dismiss it. So don't anybody text me telling me, yo, you okay? No, I am not okay. And fuck off. Watch the damn video again if you didn't get it. Until you get it. If you really want to be my friend. So fuck off. Don't text me. Third eye shit is real. If I could figure it out, so can you. Third eye shit is real. The spiritual realm is real. God and the devil, real. And they're fucking annoying. And you'll get it when you get it. I got it through Jesus. And I don't hate the world because I see this differently. And I don't hate the world because now I'm seeing this whole new light. No, I hate the world because I hated the world to begin with. I've always hated everything. I just didn't say it because it was sad, depressing. I get it. It's a bad mood. I know. But I feel it all the time and I've always felt this way except moments of where I felt really happy. But it's always taken away. I don't hate the world because I feel this way. I hate the world because I've always hated it. Never asked to be here and I've always said that. I just never said it. So, like I said before, don't anybody text me asking me what's wrong after, if you really watched this video and made it this far, you don't need to ask me what's wrong. I did my research. I'm sane. I communicated how I felt in a very normal and maybe emotional way, but I'm very sane and you can see that like. I'm very sane, I'm normal, like I can be normal and I can talk normal and I can express normal things. I'm a normal person, but you're gonna think that I'm crazy and you're gonna put this stigma around craziness around me and that's fine because I, I look and sound crazy right now to you. Really, to you, I sound crazy right now. And now you're like, well, I feel good. And I'm a Christian, so you just need Jesus. And I'm like, well, I already have Jesus. I, I know Jesus and I love Jesus, but I, I just hate the world. So I, my hate for the world is too great. Maybe even for Jesus to save. Who knows? But there is no man that makes me feel like they are him. That they are that person that can help me and maybe I can receive blessings or a good prayer from there's no one none of you are worthy no man no woman nobody who spouts information to anyone is worthy some are some are a lot of them are but none are worthy because they haven't gone through this journey and made it past me I I broke my chains. I fought demons in my dreams. I've dealt with scary ass dreams all the time. I've seen energies. I've seen monsters. I've seen it all. And even then, after being saved at the very end, I still don't want it. I've never wanted it because I don't want it. I don't need it. I never wanted this, never asked for this. So what makes you think that I'm going to change my mind if I never wanted this to begin with? I want to kill myself and I want to die, but I don't even want to kill myself because I don't want my spirit to even have to deal with them because I just don't want to be here. It's like killing myself gives me an easy, them an easy way to talk to me. And I'm like, dude, I don't want to talk to you. You won't come down here and talk to me. What makes you think I want to talk to you when I die? You know, I don't fear death. I fear that I'll be alone again because they don't know how to talk to me and they don't know how to deal with me. And I don't even want them to accept me because they haven't earned my respect. 
They haven't made me feel like they've sat down with me and made me feel peaceful. They just given me some sort of feeling of peace. I'm a personal person. That's why I don't have much energy to give because I give my energy to the ones who are there with me right there and I talk to them. I can't text all the time. I can't call all the time. I don't like talking. I don't like working. I don't like do anything. I don't like being alive. So that's that. I'm sorry that this is so depressing, but maybe you can find some peace within it that I made this journey so you don't have to because it's all a waste of time. Your salvation is a waste of time. They created earth because they're jealous that we can die. And we find joy in death and they don't die. They're eternal. So what makes you think that they enjoy living? <clears throat> That's a spider right there. <laughs> Nobody wants to be around me. <laughs> Bean does, though. <laughs> I love you, Bean. Um, thank you for listening to this whole video and making it this far. <laughs> See, this is what I, I love. This is why I love my pets. They bring me happiness. I get to play God, but they love me back because I treat them with respect. So I earned it. I earned this love. I earned this. And he earned my respect. So gods, people, if you want to earn my respect, be a better person. Change the world. Because I'm not killing myself, but I'm not giving you any effort. I'm just telling you that the world needs to change. And that regardless of heaven and hell, if they're even going to bring heaven or let people experience an otherworldly feeling, which everyone wants to. And if they're not going to give that, it's all a waste of time. I don't even want heaven because it's like, dude, what do you do? My end journey that you're just going to put right back on earth because you say you're going to bring a heaven on earth. Nobody wants it. They want an otherworldly experience. Some people do. I don't want it. So thank you for making it this far. If you're looking to text me, you better text me something worth reading. So ciao.